Hello and welcome to another edition of Stockwatch on this Tuesday the 6th of October. So there's two stocks I want to run through today. One of them is Johnson & Johnson. Uh, recent news reports state that the company ha will have to pay more than $100 million to settle more than 1,000 lawsuits over claims its baby powder caused medical problems. The settlement is the first in four years of legal action and nearly 20,000 lawsuits have been filed that allege the company's baby powder products had asbestos contamination. So in 2019, the company recalled 33,000 bottles of its baby powder products out of an abundance of caution after trace amounts of asbestos were found. However, despite the adversity, the drug manufacturer's stock is still up around 45% over the past five years, so not really negatively having much impact there. The other company I want to look at is Bank of America. As reports show, it has completed seven investments in minority depository institutions and community development financial institutions on Monday, part of the bank's $1 billion four-year commitment to advance racial equality and economic opportunity in the US. The country's second largest bank first announced its $1 billion commitment in June, a pledge aimed at fighting racial disparity related to the coronavirus pandemic. So if we take a look at Johnson & Johnson, it hasn't really had any negativity on the news reports over the last four to five years. It, we just have seen over the course of the last year, like most stocks, that we've had a bit of a downturn when the pandemic started and then the V-shaped recovery as it's got back on its feet. So I just want to zoom in a little bit more for better perspective. I've got the daily chart now just to see what the potentials are. So since that period of the top in April, We've seen it go through a little bit of a descending channel, just a tiny bit. So I'm just going to highlight that now. And again, I'll just zoom in so it's a little bit easy to see. So what I'm looking at now is if I just put a Fibonacci on the recent lows to the recent highs, when the market opens, I'll be looking at this as a possible resistance on the medium regression of this channel. So it'll be interesting to see if it can hold above the 50% and the 61.8%, especially as there's a slight hidden divergence on the momentum indicator as well. So I'll be seeing if it's going to start pushing towards the medium regression. If we can break this, then there's no reason why we can't go into new highs of $154. However, if it can't, it'll be interesting to see if we can bounce it off this line because currently the prices are trading inside the Ichimoku cloud and between the conversion and baseline of the indicator as well. So as we go into the next trading session, it'll be interesting to see if we can open with a high note or if it starts to collapse and move slightly down like we have seen in the past few days, then we might see more downside to the lower channel area. And just to bring it down to a four hour chart for an intraday perspective, just to see what the potentials are. As I said on the daily chart, once the market opens, it'll be interesting to see if we can get above the medium regression and actually engulf the prices into the cloud. If this can happen, then there's no reason why it can't reach the top of the cloud, about the $150 psychological range, and then keep pushing upwards to the recent highs that we've seen just above $154. On the other side of that, if it opens with a gap on the way down. I fully expect it probably to break the $146 range and then move lower to recent lows around the $144. And just a quick look on Bank of America. So like we've seen on many of the stocks, we've seen the decline. This hasn't gone into such a V-shaped recovery, but we're seeing a slight recovery. And I noticed um, a few weeks ago that there, it was forming a bit of a channel and now we've broken down of the channel. What the prices need to do, if I just zoom in a little bit more for a clearer perspective, what prices need to do now is start pushing towards the lower channel line of the ascending channel, sorry, and then start pushing to the medium regression. So once the market opens, the bias is on the upside because now we're trading in between the conversion and baselines and we're going to push up hopefully to the lower part of the cloud. Once the prices are engulfed, then we can see more potential for the upside. And this will be around the $26 range. The last time we saw $26 was roughly about the beginning of last month, if I'm not mistaken, the 8th of September. So it'll be about a monthly high if we can get there. Again, a good psychological level to push further to the lower channel and then to the medium regression where we saw the last high on the 12th of August, which was just over $27. So this is what I'll be looking for when the market opens later today. 
And that's all for me today. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have any comments, please feel free to add them to the post. And I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Have a great trading day ahead. Bye for now.